All right, folks, looks like the king has been dethroned. Claude 3, Anthropic's latest and greatest AI version, has outperformed GPT-4 in a bunch of benchmarks, shining in complex task performance as well as in speed, reliability, and more, leaving heavyweight companions like OpenAI and Google eating dust um, for now. I guess we're not talking about a small upgrade here, but a total game changer. So the previous Claude models were pretty solid, especially for creative writing from what I've heard. But Claude 3 looks to be on another level entirely. Like other AI companies, Anthropic has taken the smart approach of releasing multiple model sizes. With Claude 3, you get three options. Haiku, Sonnet, and Opus. Basically, Haiku is the smallest and cheapest model, perfect for simple, fast responses. Then Sonnet is the mid-tier option for more everyday use cases. And Opus is the beast, the largest and most powerful model, but also the priciest. Now, Opus excels across the board, from coding to heavy-duty math analysis, up to PhD-level reasoning. Benchmark after benchmark, Claude 3 Opus is showing comprehension really, really close to humans on complex topics, outperforming any other AI chatbot so far. But you don't have to take my word for it. The numbers tell the real story. In tests covering a full undergrad's worth of knowledge, Opus hit the mark of 86.8% accuracy. That left beasts like GPT-4 choking on its vapor trail. And if you think that gap is wild, just wait until you see how it grows on higher level challenges like common sense reasoning and advanced math, where Opus is practically brushing up against 100% perfection scores. Now, Opus may be the star, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. Alongside Claude 3 Opus, as I already mentioned, there are two other versions, Sonnet and Haiku. Sonnet seems to be the sweet spot between being quick and smart, making it perfect for businesses. From what we've seen in early tests, it's twice as fast as the older Claude 2, but it certainly doesn't compromise on intelligence. So if you need to crunch massive data sets or automate entire sales processes, Sonnet looks primed to become the indispensable AI sidekick for companies trying to supercharge productivity. Not to be outdone, the diminutive Haiku variant has rapidly carved out a niche as the fastest, most cost-effective model in its weight class. Capable of devouring dense 10,000 token research papers in under three seconds, Haiku essentially eliminates latency from the equation. This mainly means that Haiku 3 can turn thousands of physical documents into properly structured data. Now, it seems that Claude 3 could be a master over multimodal inputs. It's the ability to interpret and contextualize information from images, videos, charts, and other visual data sources. In one jaw-dropping demo, Opus showcased its visual powers by rapidly analyzing complex economic datasets presented as interactive charts and graphs. Not only did it transcribe this visual information with pinpoint accuracy into a markdown table, but it went a step further by generating visualizations with insightful annotations. We're not just talking about bringing up limited data sets, but true comprehension of abstract trends, patterns, and events like economic expansions and recessions over the past century. In the same demo, Opus showed us its ability to arrange huge groups of sub-agents to tackle multi-step prompts. You know, resolving GDP projections for major world economies is usually a research nightmare. Yet, Opus could easily solve tasks like this in seconds, and it can not only read and recreate all this historical data, but it can also try to simulate it into the future. And it can also rerun the same kind of analysis for different countries at the same time. Not only that, you can also expect to get pie charts that will show you what it expects the world economy to look like in the future. This would take a human hours and hours to complete the work, whereas it takes Claude to complete this just a few seconds. The data we get from Claude does not just come in graphs, but you can also expect to get a full multimodal writing analysis. So moving beyond its basic features, Claude 3 also has the power of having a human-like conversation showing us that it is truly a hallmark of an intelligent system. However, one of the major criticisms of the previous versions of Claude was the inability to engage with basic prompts. This was mainly due to lack of context, which made the system unable to provide enough information. This flaw in particular has been addressed and solved by Opus, Sonnet, and Haiku. 
It just goes to show us the difference between potential harms and harmless requests. The models have also been added with greater communicative flexibility, enabling them to clarify ambiguities, ask follow-up questions for context, and recognize their own knowledge gaps with grace rather than defaulting to silence. Adding to this, it also has a 200,000 token long context window, which basically means how much information it can read through and remember. If you provide it with a document or a sizable PDF, it almost instantly provides you with an accurate summary. Now, while the technical accomplishments are immense, Anthropic deserves equal recognition for the principled foundation underlying Claude 3's development. The company revealed that Comprehensive Guard governs the AI's decision-making at every level, hard-coded with 10 core tenants focused on transparency, privacy protection, and preventing harm. It's an important philosophical divergence from big tech's perceived prioritization of power over principles. Okay, let's talk performance because the claims Anthropic is making are just wild. According to their benchmarks, the Opus model outperformed GPT-4 on virtually every test they ran it through. Things like understanding multilingual text, coding ability, solving complex math and science problems, <laughs> you name it. Even the smallest haiku model put up really impressive numbers that were better than GPT-4 in certain areas like coding. But... Claude has only tested some versions of GPT-4, and this does not necessarily mean that it's the latest version. Independent benchmarks also paint a slightly different picture compared to Anthropic's tests. So while Claude 3 seems to be on par with GPT-4 overall, it may not be quite as far ahead as initially claimed. But either way, keeping up with GPT-4 is an incredible feat. The real test is how well Claude 3 actually performs on the specific tasks you need it for. For example, it can be used to translate a design image into website code, and while Claude 3 gave it a solid effort, ChatGPT ultimately did a better job. So, at the end of the day, you'll want to try out different AI assistants and see which one works best for your needs. There's no universal best AI yet. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. But competitions like this definitely push the limits of what's possible with AI. I know some of you are looking to get your hands on this game-changing system firsthand. Well, here's the good news. Anthropic has a free trial ready. Through their new Claude.ai playground, you can directly use the mighty Sonnet model in a free-form chit-chat or put it through its paces on structured tasks. And there are no payment details or sort of commitment required to use this tool. But for AI users out there, like businesses and developers looking for more capabilities, Anthropic has a premium Claude Pro feature. With a paid subscription, you can use Opus's complete bag of tricks. We're talking enterprise-grade security, custom model fine-tuning, so it meshes perfectly with your needs, plus a white glove support team at your beck and call. So, there you have it. A snippet of why Claude 3 could permanently turn the AI game on its head. Let us know your thoughts of these dueling language models and drop a Claude in the comments to let us know you watched the whole video. Until next time, folks, you all take care.